everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CIG Television News Brief on this Thursday. Today was another wet day in the Cayman Islands, and local weather experts say we should be getting more rainfall over the coming days. Over the next uh, few days, especially the weekend, we do expect a decrease in the chances of showers. Um, the system that is generating this seems to be retrogressing more over the Gulf of Mexico. But by Monday, we the system comes back into our area, giving increased chances of showers and precipitation. Your full weather report uh, for the days ahead is straight ahead. Meantime, officials are urging those living in the Cayman Islands to always be prepared for excess rainfall and storms. Also making our headlines today, the Cayman Islands Center for Business Development is ready to help small business owners as well as entrepreneurs learn ways to raise capital. Some questions to be asked at the June 20th event are what are investors looking for and what makes a small business fundable? Althea West Myers, director of the CICBD, tells us who this year's keynote speaker is and much more. So Raising Capital was created to bring to bridge the gap. So for example, this year's event is entitled Founders and Funders Bridging the Gap. It targets early stage ventures, that's the startups or persons who might have been in operation for a little while, maybe beyond two years, but are still regarded as early stage. You are looking for funding, you, you are not yet in good stage, but you're looking for potential investors to, you know, more or less buy into your company. Keynote is Sam Jones, and he's known for his very famous presentation on the Dragon's Den when it was said that that is one of the best pitches that was ever made to the Dragons. The CICBD falls under the Ministry of Investment, Innovation and Social Development. Again, the event is tailored for startups and early stage ventures, offering valuable insights and networking opportunities to help attendees access the financing they need. Earlier on Thursday, there were a few spots left to attend the event. So if you want to get registered, you can go online to www.cicbd.gov.ky and click on the events icon. Well, fresh uh, southeasterly winds and rough seas are expected across the Cayman Islands weather-wise for the next 24 hours. As that ridge of high pressure Mr. Miller mentioned earlier builds over the northern Caribbean, tonight there's a 30% chance of us getting some rainfall. For those of you who operate small boats and crafts, sea conditions will be rough with wave heights of 4 to 6 feet, so you should exercise caution over the open seas. The two-day outlook is for partly cloudy skies with moderate southeast winds and seas along with a slight Chain, chance rather of isolated showers through to Saturday evening. Another reminder that you can always check out the Cayman Islands National Weather Services website as well as their Facebook page for a look at what our local weather conditions are looking like. Before we go, if you're watching us on our YouTube channel, we ask you to just take a moment to like, share and subscribe for all of your key and factual government news. I'm Donna Bush wishing you a safe and wonderful night. Bye-bye for now.